With the virus running rampant through our region, area doctors want you to take just one minute, 60 seconds, to watch a video and join them in doing just one thing to help stop the spread and save lives. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob joins us live to explain more about this nationwide effort. Dan. Jess, it's a national campaign to do one simple thing, and that is just to wear your mask. And now local hospitals are getting involved as well to help boost that message. A simple message, powerful images. More than 100 health systems around the United States, representing thousands of hospitals, banded together and created this video, imploring people to wear masks. I think the most important thing in terms of mitigating the spread of disease and, uh, and flattening the curve, if you will, is to make sure people wear face masks. Dr. Mike Benninghoff is in the ICU at Christiana Hospital in Newark, Delaware. They're one of the many area hospitals carrying the cause. He says they've seen a rise in COVID patients just like everyone else. Thursday, nearly 400 new positives were confirmed by the state as the second wave has arrived. Are you thinking like maybe this thing is dying out or was this second wave always anticipated from your point of view? Yeah, so this disease isn't like any other virus he's ever seen. And so what we want to impress upon people, the citizens, our neighbors is you don't want to get it. It's more infectious than anything we've seen in terms of viruses. It's more deadly than anything we've seen in terms of viruses. And now we're, we're sort of... Uh, finding out that the long-term effects are really bad. Dr. Bettinghoff also suggests getting vaccinated once it's available. And for those questioning the effectiveness of masks or the disease itself, his defense is definitive. Masks slow the spread of COVID-19. There's really no kind of debate about it. Um, there's, that's not worth the energy. Some of those Philadelphia area hospitals that are also involved in this national campaign, Temple University Hospital, Jeff and Penn as well. Live tonight, Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Dan, thank you.